Hi everyone, it's Ma from Sparkly Belly. Let's start the new year with an exciting practice outfit, perfect for dance lessons. This outfit consists of this fun one-piece unitard with flared legs, a pretty lace wrap top, and a matching overskirt. In the next four videos, I'll show you how to make this entire outfit. Today, we'll start with this unitard. Let's get started! To make this unitard, you need pattern paper. This can be any paper, like craft paper or leftover wrapping paper. A tank top to use as a pattern. A pair of well-fitting leggings to use as a pattern. If you don't have leggings, you can use any fitted pants. Stretch fabric. Use four-way stretch fabric for this project. You need about two meters or two yards. Two and a half centimeter or one inch wide elastic. About one meter or one yard should be enough. And matching color thread. First, put on your tank top and leggings and fold over the waistband of the leggings so the top edge is at your belt line. This is where you'd wear your belly dance hip scarf or belt. Mark the fold line at the center front and center back with safety pins. Then straighten your tank top and see where the bottom edge of the tank top is in relation to the top edge of the leggings. If they overlap, mark the top of the leggings on the tank top at the center front with a safety pin. If they don't, measure the distance between the bottom end of the tank top and the top of the leggings at the center front. Make a note of this measurement. Also measure from your belt line to the floor. And finally, mark your underbust line with a safety pin on the front. Also, while you're wearing your tank top and leggings, make a note of how fitted and how comfortable they are. If they feel too tight or too loose, we can adjust the fit for the unitard in the next section. Alright, let's move on. Take your pattern paper and fold about 15 centimeters or 6 inches to the back side. Take your leggings and turn them wrong side out. And put one of the legs inside the other so you can see the seams very well. Now the crotch seam should look like this. The deeper side is the back side and the shallower side is the front. Place it on the pattern paper front side down and place the straight edge of the leggings against the fold of the paper. Now fold the top of the leggings at the belt line safety pin and trace the front side of the leggings. If you're using leggings, I find some leggings are very tight around the hips and thighs. If that's the case, you can add 1 to 2 centimeters or so as you trace. If your pants are loose, you can draw the line a little bit on the inside to make the legs more fitted. Once you get to the knee area, stop. Mark the hem of the legs and remove your leggings. At this point, compare the length to your belt line to floor measurement. They should be more or less the same. But if you want your flared pants to be extra long, add length at this point. From the knee area, draw a straight line down. Extend the hemline. On the hemline, measure 10 centimeters or 4 inches from the straight line. Then connect this point to the knee point. Measure the length from the knee point to the hemline and measure the same distance on this diagonal line. Keep measuring and making marks until you reach the straight line. Connect the dots and smooth out the lines at the knee area. Now open up the fold of the paper and make a mark at the same knee height on the fold. Extend the hemline to the other side and repeat the process. Mark a 10 cm or 4 inch point on the line and connect to the knee point. Measure the distance between the knee and the hem and measure the same distance from the diagonal line. Connect the dots and smooth out the knee area. So you just created extra room to the bottom half of the legs so you get flared pants. If you want a legging style, simply trace your leggings. Cut along the outer lines and you have the front side of the pants. Repeat the process for the back side by placing the back side of the leggings on the paper. Make sure the length at the fold matches with that of the front panel because these sides get sewn together. 
Make the knee point at the same place as the front panel and match the hemline and draw the rest. On the back side, add a 2.5 cm or 1 inch seam allowance above the waistband line. And the pant section is complete! By the way, I love this pattern because it's so versatile. I marked the belt line because I wanted to be able to use this pattern to make yoga pants. All you need to do is add a waistband. Next, fold your paper and fold your tank top in half lengthwise. Place your tank top on the paper and match up the folds. Now, if your tank top is not very fitted, move the fold of the tank top a little by a couple of centimeters to make a more fitted top. And trace the front side of the tank top all the way to the safety pin indicating the waistband of the leggings. Or if your tank top and leggings didn't overlap, measure the distance you measured between the tank top edge and the belt line from the bottom edge of the tank top. And draw a horizontal line there. Then fold up the tank top at the safety pin indicating the underbus line. Mark where this line and side seam meet. From there, measure down 2 cm or 3 quarters of an inch and make a mark. At the bottom, measure 2 cm up from the bottom line and draw a horizontal line there. Now on your front pant pattern, measure the length of the top edge. And measure this length from the fold of the new horizontal line you just drew. Now connect these two points with a nice curved line. You can make it narrow or wide, it's up to you. Mine is about 7.5 cm or 3 inches wide at the narrowest point. Cut along these lines and your top pattern is complete. I'm going to skip making the back pattern here and I'll show you how you can use this pattern to make the back side. Alright, once you make the pattern, the rest is easy. First, let's cut out the legs. I folded the fabric right sides together here, making sure the stretcher direction is perpendicular to the fold. Place your front and back panels. For the front panel, simply cut out while adding a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. At the hem, add a 2 cm or 3 quarter inch seam allowance. For the back panel, don't add any seam allowance at the top edge, but add a 1 cm seam allowance at size and 2 cm at the hem. Place your top pattern and cut while adding a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance all around. This is your front panel. Then fold your pattern here where the curved lines start and place the pattern on your fabric. Take a fabric marker and connect the top corners of the shoulder seams. Measure about 5 cm or 2 inches down from there at the center and connect it to the shoulder seam with a nice curved line. Then cut while adding a 1 cm seam allowance and add a 2.5 cm or 1 inch seam allowance at the bottom edge. This is your back panel. Also, cut out three long strips that are 2.5 cm wide. Use the entire width of the fabric. Alright, all the pieces are ready to be assembled. In the next video, I'll show you how to sew all the pieces together and finish the unitard. How exciting! Make sure to subscribe to my channel or my newsletter at sparklybelly.com so you won't miss it. Hope you like this pattern making section of the Unitard Belly Dance Classwear tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. It would be so fun to show up in stylish matching outfits at your next lesson. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!